welcome back to another video here at NBA Addict TV where we provide the latest NBA content on the tube. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We are on the road to 1K subscribers. Now, I know I'm a couple days late, but if you guys did not know, James Harden was traded to the Brooklyn Nets. Yes, it finally went down. He is officially a Brooklyn Net. So today we're going to be discussing the blockbuster trade that went down and what this means for the rest of the league. Okay, so in this trade, it involved a couple different teams, so let's break it down. So obviously in this trade, the Nets got their superstar to solidify their big three in Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden. That's if Kyrie decides to return to playing basketball because there are still a lot of questions surrounding him. So the Rockets got Karis LeVert, Roddy and Karooks, Dante Exum, and well, listen closely, they got a lot of picks. They got four first round picks, as well as four pick swaps. The Cleveland Cavaliers were also involved in this trade as they got Jared Allen to add to their abundance of bigs and Tyrion Prince. And lastly, the Indiana Pacers, they traded Victor Oladipo for Karis LeVert. This is a questionable move for the Rockets considering Karis LeVert is younger, he doesn't have the injury history that Oladipo has, and I believe his ceiling is higher as well. Listen, when I first saw this trade in front of my eyes, I was fresh off a nap and I was shocked. But now let's talk about why the Nets gave up so many picks to acquire Harden. It's because the Philadelphia 76ers were also close on finalizing a deal surrounding Ben Simmons and Tyrese Maxey. But the Nets secured Harden with a plethora of draft picks that they threw at the Rockets. So now, what does this mean for the rest of the NBA? Are the Nets now championship favorites or even the best team in the East? Well, let's just say the Nets got a lot worse defensively. Having Having to trade away Jared Allen, they will now have to start DeAndre Jordan at their center position. He was barely getting playing time behind Allen, and with their depth being severely cut, that means the Nets are going to need Kyrie with his team immediately because the rotation wouldn't involve many players. And the big three would need as much time on the court together to build chemistry and get into rhythm playing with one another. It also does not help at all that Spencer Dinwiddie tore his ACL early in the season. Now, in my opinion, this makes the Brooklyn Nets the best team in the East and second best team in the league right behind the Los Angeles Lakers. Now realistically, could the Nets take down the Lakers in 7 games? You would have to be a fool or a hater to say no. With the offensive power that Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving possess, who is guarding those three? I know there are still a lot of questions about this squad, but with those three on your team, it makes you damn near unstoppable. But when it comes to the Eastern Conference, I do believe the Nets will take down the Bucks, Sixers, Celtics, and any other Eastern Conference team that stands in their way. Now to ease some of the defensive issues, I will call Sam Presti to see what it would take to get their hands on Trevor Ariza. And if that price is too high, you may have to look into the free agency market and pick up a guy like Andre Robinson, who is 29 years old and is a known lockdown defender. But I know he is out of the league for a reason. He had suffered a ruptured patella tendon and had multiple setbacks during his rehab process. But you may want to give him a chance to see what old boy got left in the tank. Maybe give a guy like Kahlo Quinn or Joe Kim Noah a chance. As we all know, those guys bring a defensive edge to your team and provide energy off the bench. But no one is talking about how this coaching staff will be tested after this trade. First year head coach Steve Nash will be put to the ultimate test as he is already dealing with the diva that is Kyrie Irving. How he handles these three superstars will define him in his first run with the Nets. Now on the flip side of things, the Rockets got Oladipo who is on a one year contract so if you aren't happy with his performance this year, you don't have to worry about paying him for the following year. They also got a ton of picks that will definitely come in hand years down the line as most of their roster is filled with players that have a vast injury history. Now two teams that I think should have went at Harden just a bit harder are the Bucks and especially the Sixers. Although Ben Simmons is a terrific player and is an elite defender leading the league in steals last season and his top 15 Tina steals this season while also being a phenomenal playmaker having LeBron like court vision but in the four years he has been in the league he has yet to take the next step on the offensive end and become an unguardable beast that we all know he should be and can be he is still working on his jumper slowly but surely as his three-point attempts went from point one to point three this season whatever that means for the Sixers to be on the same level as the Brooklyn Nets Ben will have to average at least 20 points a game at least Daryl Morey has finally 
completely surrounded the Sixers star, Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons with the necessary shooters that they need. Joel Embiid is clearly dominating at his position and it is time for Ben to do the same. And as far as the Bucks are concerned, Giannis, you may have to leave Milwaukee to finally get that chip, bro. Alright guys, let me know who you think is making it out of the East and what you think of this trade for the Brooklyn Nets. That's all we got for today's video, NBA Addicts, and I'll see y'all next video.